Okay then guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Crucible Axe armor set and we're also going to be taking a look at the Ordovis Greatsword, which by the way is pretty nutty to say the least. This weapon does cause quite a bit of damage as it has a charged up effect when as you can see on screen it looks pretty damn cool. You can utilize this in its most simplest form or you can charge this up and cause a whopping great bit of damage. Now this can be staggered throughout the entire animation so this isn't one of those damage boosts that you're going to be able to use against bosses too easily, although larger hordes of small ads, this is going to work quite well for as you can see on screen. Now we're going to bring the statistics up on screen right now so you can see exactly what this looks like, but the Crucible Axe armor set is actually pretty damn tasty. This thing looks absolutely mental and you look like an absolute tank while you're wearing it, alongside of the Ordovis Greatsword which has 25 strength, 13 dexterity to wield with 15 faith. This is just a pretty cool set and we're going to show you how to get it. So you're going to want to head over to this location here, just east of the capital. This is just before you head into the capital and we're going to get through to this location here. Once we get in here, you are going to want to run directly to the gateway on the right hand side and wait for the coaster to pass. As we get past that bit, we're going to jump straight down the gateway and that goes through the floor and work our way up the stairs. Take a solid right and we're going to find that two more of those bloody annoying carts are going to be making their way past. Once the left one goes past, you want to go in its pathway. The right one will go down and turn around. Then you want to overtake that one's pathway and again rotate with the left hand side. Another one will respawn in front of you. You have to go and proc it to make it move forward and then once you've bluffed it, head into the gap and and then wait for it to pass before you can go through the doorway. Heading on through the doorway though, you do have a boss which is dual bosses and they are no joke if you want my honest opinion. This was not a one-time thing for me. It did take me a few attempts. It's not the easiest as there are two of them and they are a little bit of a nightmare as they just aggro a lot. My recommendation is utilizing a summon and also using an Ash of War which will stagger with two hits. I'll leave a video link down in the description if you guys want to utilize that method we have got the video for the the amazing combo which is this right here which is staggering bosses and it staggers every single boss it causes a nice little bit of damage time and if you can manage to get it like I do which is actually quite lucky where we managed to drag both of them together you are able to just stagger them both and then go in for the damage phase now we brought them both down to the same health and then go in for a full blown stagger which actually helps out a fair bit as you can see here we managed to get the two blades off and then finish them off quite heavily. They aggro really solidly but once you have done that that is all you need to get your hands on this armor and sword. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have smash the like button and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Thanks again for watching guys appreciate your faces and as always I'll see you in the clouds.